in today's video I'm going to be showing you a vintage Winnie the Pooh design done with all pastel colors. And these colors are from the new Madame Glam Macaron collection, which I absolutely love. They are so pigmented and I will put all the color names in the description box below as well as a discount code. Also, I have a really cool secret for you guys in this video for how I did the outlines. It is something I've never done before and I will definitely be doing again because it was so easy. So definitely watch for that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! So we are going to start with the color I Lime You. That's going to be on the background of every single one of the nails. Like I said, these colors are so pigmented. They're absolutely just gorgeous and they're so creamy to work with. They make it really easy to paint and they make it really easy to just do a solid pastel color. So now using the color Lemon Pie, that's the color we're going to be using for all of the Winnie the Pooh, um, like just the base of, of the Winnie the Pooh, as well as like inside um, Tigger's tummy and just in a place here and there just to make it kind of even and smooth everywhere. That color, again, so pigmented. It's absolutely just a dream to work with. So on the thumb when we're painting Winnie the Pooh, I'm going to make it look like he's kind of looking off up to the side. So I'm just going to angle his face as a profile view instead of straight on. The other one where he's looking at us, where he's sitting inside the honey pot, he'll be looking right at us. And with this little design, if you didn't want to do two Winnie the Poohs, if you wanted to say do um, a Kinga and a Roo, or you know, just a different mix of characters, you certainly could. I was having a very hard time deciding exactly who to do and where to put them. So that is why I ended up doing two Winnie the Poohs because I really just liked that particular image of Winnie the Pooh, both of them with the honey pot and then with him looking at the butterfly. I felt both of them were just really springy and bright. So I'm also going to be adding in his shirt. That color is not from this collection. That one is called Energize Your Day and it's from uh, last summer and it's just such a nice red that isn't um, like a really intense red. It's a little bit more softer, a little more orange tone. So I thought it was perfect for this. So I've got the butterfly that's going to be landing on Pooh's nose. I'm using a mix of colors from this collection as well as that pink one is one that isn't as another older color. Um, is then I'm going to use the yellow gel paint for the butterfly body. So now I'm going to be using this Micron digital, not digital, <laughs> um, felt tip permanent marker. I don't know why I said digital. That was funny. Um, felt tip marker. And that is what I'm going to be using to do all of my outlines. Now I do want to let you know that this one is old. This is an old marker. So I actually like that I'm using an old marker because it isn't working very well. And because of that, it's giving me this adorable vintage kind of scratchy looking outline, which I absolutely love. And the other thing I do want to mention is I did apply a layer of matte top coat over this nail before I'm going in with this pen. I would not recommend not top coating it before the pen because there's a slight inhibition layer that the gel polish cures with. So it still has a slight tackiness after it's done curing, which I wouldn't recommend feeling for. Just trust me, it's there. You don't want to necessarily get that, um, that product residue on your skin because it can lead to some different types of reactions and possible allergy issues. So don't touch it. Just trust me, it's there. Um, you don't want that to get on the tip of the marker. So you want to apply a layer of top coat that either is no cleanse or cleanse it well and then go in with your marker. And if you're using a new one, I since mine's old, I don't actually know if it would work any better than mine, mine did, and it would give you more uh, precise outlines if it was going to work better. But mine, I think, I think part of the reason why it gave me that adorable effect is just because it's old. But otherwise, if it was new, it might still give you that effect. It might just be a little bit bolder of, of lines, which would work perfectly well. And it really does make outlining so easy. So I think my new hand-painted nail art uh, technique is going to be to grab one of those little tiny um, micro pens and use them instead. And if you're wondering where you can get those particular pens, um, a lot of times a craft store would have them. So um, a craft or an art store, someplace like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or a pro art store, something like a Blick and Aaron Brothers probably would. There's so many different art store companies. Um, but, you know, a place where you would go if you want to buy a canvas or that would have illustration products. I don't think that, say, Walmart, even though they do have an arts and crafts department, would necessarily carry those. But a bigger art-specific store certainly would. So after that, we're going to do our Tigger on the index nail. I've got the base of his body done with this adorable little creamy dreamsicle orange, kind of a pinky orange hue. I'm going to go back with that lemon pie color that's going to be the same one I used on Pooh. I'm going to do kind of around Tigger's mouth, around his eyes, and then down his belly with that. And then with the color Cherry Petals, which is just such a really pale pink, absolutely gorgeous. And then back to my Energizer Day, which was the same color from Pooh's shirt. I'm going to be filling in his mouth. And then after you have that done, I'm going to take and just add a little daisy to the side, like he's holding it on the stem with a yellow center. 
And then we're going to go back through with that little micro marker and we're going to be doing all of these outlines yet again, just like you did for Pooh. The one thing I do want to say is that this video is incredibly sped up. So it looks like I'm just whipping through this. As I have mentioned, if you've been listening to me, <laughs> the marker I'm using is old. So it did skip if I tried to move it too quickly. So this isn't like a super fast outline things at lightning speed. It is certainly faster than dipping it, dipping a paintbrush back into gel paint you don't necessarily get quite as precise of lines. You don't have the same effect at the end, which for this design, I didn't want that effect. I wanted this effect that I achieved, but it isn't a whole lot faster. It's not like you could cut your time down in half because there is a certain amount of kind of like rubbing it back and forth to get the lines to show up. And whether that's the fact that we're drawing over gel polish or the fact that this marker's old, I don't know. Try it, figure it out. Let me know how it goes. On the middle nail, we're going to be doing a second Winnie the Pooh. So I'm going to be doing my little Winnie the Pooh face in the middle. This is one where he's going to be sitting in the honey pot. So I'm going to not need to do like his belly or lower belly or feet or anything. We're just going to start out with kind of a a vague shape for his body. I'm going to fill in reverse head and the little bit of belly that shows. Then I'm going to paint his body with the Energize Your Day. I absolutely love that color. That is one that just in general, if you don't have it yet and you've been waiting for this long and you collect Madame Glam gel polishes like I do, go get yourself that Energize Your Day. It is such a unique shade of red and I find it so useful for so many different things. It's like Ariel's hair color. In fact, when I first got it, I painted a portrait of Ariel and I can put a link to that video in the description box below if you're, if you're curious, but the color is just so unique and so beautiful that again, I go back to it all the time because it's just perfect for so many things and there's nothing else quite like it. I am going to go through and after I have the honey pot painted, I'm going to add some little white daisies right along the cuticle line. And then I'm going to be adding some white stripes on the honey pot. So there isn't like a bright white in this particular collection from Madame Glam, this Easter macaron collection. I say Easter, even though it's not necessarily for Easter, it just makes me feel like Easter. Um, but it does, um, the white gel paint is a perfect time to get those little white details in. I'm going to use the yellow gel paint at the center to my flowers, a layer of velvet matte top coat, and then going back to my outlines, same process. I kind of skipped ahead a little bit since you guys have seen it a few times, but just know that I really recommend giving that a try. On the next nail, we're going to be doing sweetness on Eeyore. So we've got just the top of his uh, top of his face, kind of down his back. His very snout area is a different shade, so we're going to leave that blank. If for your perp you know, if it's easier for you just to paint the whole thing in and then go back through and add different layers to the different areas, you can do that as well. I'm going to go back through and add that secondary color to his face. Again, all of the color names are listed in the description box below. I know I only have them in the corner for a second, so if you did happen to miss them, you can go back and catch them there. So we're going to be doing a little bit of more of like a pinky color on his snout and a little bit more of a teal color on his belly. And then going back through, we're going to paint another butterfly on the top of Eeyore's head. He does have that black mane. So we're going to leave that space just kind of on its own there. Add the details to, to our butterfly. I'm using blueberry cream and pink me up. Pink me up is not from this collection. It's another one that is from a previous collection that just I felt was appropriate for this design. Velvet matte top coat. And then we're going to do our little Eeyore outlines. Eeyore does have a few more outlines or a few more black lines than some of the other ones, just because he does have that black mane. If you're doing it with a pen and your pen isn't working very well, you know, if it goes dead or something, something like his hair would maybe be the circumstance to use the black gel paint, but use it with a dry brush. If you want to create this look without using these pens, what you would do is you'd have the smallest amount of gel paint on your brush that you possibly can so that when you go to start painting, it kind of skips on you. So you don't get those smooth lines. You get more of a jagged line. Now we're going to go back to our little piglet. This is going to be the pinky nail, our last nail in this collection. I love this little Winnie the Pooh. Like I said, I can put a link to, um, to that aerial video in the description box below, but if you are a Winnie the Pooh specific uh, fan and you like uh, all these characters, I have a couple different Tigger videos in the past and I have some Winnie the Pooh characters uh, designs in the past. Some of them are three-dimensional, so if you like 3D or 4D nail art, I will put links to those in the description box below. Anything that is possibly Winnie the Pooh-esque, I will definitely share with you. For Piglet, I have his one arm up in the air and then I'm going to be adding all of these little butterflies flying around his head. I added a mix of flowers and butterflies just kind of at whim, whichever one I thought went better with the nail. And I love the combination. If you wanted to, you could do a mix where you actually put some butterflies and some flowers on each nail, but I kind of like the little personalized individuality of some flowers and some butterflies nail specific. 
gonna add that little bit of yellow gel paint for their bodies everything about this is just bright and springy and it just gives you those spring oh the winter's over kind of a feeling which is something I desperately need we personally had a couple warm days last week and now it's back to snow so I'm I'm a little bit unimpressed but soon enough we'll have warm weather Fill in Piglet's little nose with more of that pink me up. And then using the Funfetti top coat, I'm going to be adding some of those sparkles to the background, just where there isn't a butterfly or a flower or a character painted, the little bits of green that are showing in the background. I'm not gonna overdo it with that Funfetti top coat. I am, and I'm also just gonna be applying it with a little brush, not going straight from the bottle. I wanna have a little more control over where the sparkles go. Sometimes when you apply any glitter mix from straight from the bottle, it's not quite as precise, and I didn't wanna necessarily get glitter over the top of a butterfly or a flower or somebody. So I'm just gonna make sure I apply it with a little bit more caution, just right to those areas where I want the glitters. And then another layer of the velvet matte top coat. If you wanted a partially shiny, partially matte experience, you could have just left it as they were. However, you do want to still top coat the, the micron gel, um, not gel, the micron uh, permanent marker. So you'd want to apply another layer of gel top coat before the sparkles if you wanted it to be some sparkly, some matte. But I love the way the Funfetti looks with it matte too. It has like these little ghost glitters that just sort of iridescence show up in the background, which is just such a cool effect. I absolutely love this design. I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. I think it's just the most cute little thing I've ever seen. So please uh, share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Bye.